Ladies and gents, Crafty Loz's bar is open. Oh yeah. Hey! <laughs> Welcome to the craft beer section of Wine, Wine Jam. Jam. Okay, we're here with uh, Crafty Lozza and... Sam Cash, how are you all? Oh, yeah. Now, what we have here is the Hoptimeister. The what, Meister? Hoptimister? Hoptimister. It's from Barcelona. It's a very strange name. Um, this is from a company called Edge Brewing. And they're actually from America. So they've come all the way over to Spain for the sun and stuff and uh, to uh, have their brewery here. So they took their entire industry and threw it in the, in Barcelona. Yep. So it's American IPA, or should be really an APA. <laughs> and <laughs> alcohol content. For, this is a big daddy one. This is six point six percent. Oof. Right. So this is is on par of everything that you can get, like in Belgium. So yeah, it's going to be pretty lethal. But I'm looking forward to it. But we're drinking it for your sake, ladies and gentlemen, so you don't have to die for the cause. Shall we? Shall we? Indeed. So it's from Barcelona, made by Americans. It's it's an American beer in Spain. It's just weird. It is a bit weird. Mind you, that's you, like you can pour this time. Look at that head. The thumb rule. As you can see, it's quite dark, rich, kind of like that golden, amber, bronze kind of colour to it. Mm. Ooh, it's a lovely colour. Really nice colour. I mean, you can't see through it, like Belgian. Belgian beer is like, you know, it's like the same colour, so it's cloudy. Yeah, the head on that is uh, quite significant. Yeah, really light on the nose, nothing really there. Oh, smoky tobacco, mm, quite bit bitter. bitter. Yeah, but I, I quite like it, it's balanced. Yeah, oh, yeah, bit of caramel. I don't get the uh, spiciness. Mildly spicy. <laughs> nice if you, I, I'd say like if you like something, something more bitter, a bit more crisp on the on the edges as yeah. such. Nice like little coffee notes. Yeah, it's good. I think for me personally, it's not um, what I'd go for, but I, I go for like obviously how well it's made and what it's like. So I'm gonna put this as a seven, dead on seven. It's interesting because um, I was bigging this up, but you're giving it, I think, quite a good score. And actually, I'm going to match you on that. All right. I'm gonna put seven out of ten. The alcohol on it is nice and smooth, it's not in your face. It is noticeable just because. Mm. Maybe because I know it's six point six, but no, it's it's the, the it's the dark colour. It's the richness of it. Richness probably. was really that that kind of lets you know that it, it is. It's a, it's a big daddy. It's interesting. I don't think it's my type, but my type's kind of m more lighter, um, but like loads of flavours there. That's my kind of type. So I think that's why. I would say like if there's any kind of Belgian beer drinkers, I would definitely recommend for them to try this one. <clears throat> Lovely. <laughs> this is a nation from Newport, Oregon, USA. A brittle Indian pale ale. I think it's a lovely label here. I really quite like it. I'm just, it's really growing on me. Brutal rogue nation, join us. It's <laughs> like as if it's a revolution. Yeah. So it's high in alcohol, so it's 6.2%. Boom. So yeah, I don't think you can have too many of these. That's what it means by brutal, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Yeah. Look at that. Half of it's gone in the foam. I don't think there's anything left. And as you can see, it's quite dark because you can't really see my finger on the other side. My thumb has disappeared no. into the beer of Aeolus. Do you know Ooh. what? If I close my eyes and, and smell that, at the very beginning, it actually comes off as a wine. I'm not kidding. A little. You can smell that malt. You can smell the kind of the richness of it. Yes, I get it. Yeah, it's, it's like, a, like a Pinot Noir. That's really quite interesting. It's got that dark, malty kind of flavour that you kind of get with Porto kind of ales. It's, it's that richness that you get, but it's the, but the great thing about this, I think, is the the weight of it is not there. It's a lot lighter. I'm yeah. not really convinced with this, too. I quite like the kind of caramel, slight chocolatey and vanilla things going on there. That's quite a complex one, actually. I like the kind mm. of like, it has got that stuff going on. Not my cup and, of tea, uh, but it does has a bit of a tea flavour to it. <laughs> <laughs> Bitterness is just very... Are you craving something else instead of the ale? Is that what's <laughs> happening here? If I'm going to rate it out of 10, I'll, I'll probably give it a 4. Really? It's a shame, I was expecting more. No, um, 7. Uh, I think, and seven, seven and a half. Actually, seven point three. <laughs> it was being Don't absolutely complicate exact. things. It's beer. I do like it. It's definitely a seven point three. 
I'm surprised you're saying four for that, because four would mean like something that's not produced well. Oh, no, I never said it wasn't produced well. I'm just saying this is my point of view, if I like it or not. Well, jury's out on that one. I mean, that's what's crafty's hit the man. I like what they've done with it, but I'm not really not my cup of tea. Now, mm-hmm. we have the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades! Yes. The Ace of Spades! <laughs> Tell you what, that, that dancing did like put me out of breath. It's, it's also making me a little bit thirsty as well. I don't know about you, but yes. I'm uh, just a little bit warmer, which is always, <laughs> is always better. The Ace of Spades. Okay, this is a, a beer that is uh, from Walthamstow. They do four different beers, all different picture cards from um, a, a pack of decks. So you've got the Ace of Spades, King, Queen, Jack. Nice. Um, all different types. What have we got in there? This is a London Porter. It's not just a London Porter. It actually uses American hops. It's going to be interesting because they're, they're combining it two different types of flavours to make something dark beauty. Like black beauty. <laughs> the horse. This is a black beauty. The alcohol content is 4.7. It's all right. It's the yeah. usual. Yeah, we're expecting a lot of flavour. Ace of spades. Ace of spades. I'm going to be doing this quite often through this drinking period, by the way. <laughs> It's got nothing to do with the beers that I might have, might not have before or after this. Wow, that's like Coca-Cola. Oh, look at that head. That's awesome. There's Guinness and then there's this thing, which is like darker than the depths of evil. Slight taint of red. That's a coffee kind of head, isn't it, to that? I mean, seriously, I, I wouldn't have any... If somebody poured that out and said that's espresso, mm. I wouldn't I wouldn't <laughs> actually doubt them. I'd be like, oh, so I just drink that one shot? Oh, yes. It smells like coffee. Can you smell that? Roasted. It is coffee, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it it looks like coffee, it is coffee. It is coffee. <laughs> mm. It is it is beautiful though. Mm, it is smooth. really lovely. Like with most porters I've come across, it's usually quite heavy, big. It almost fills your stomach within like five sips of the stuff. This is really lovely. It's really light actually, which is contrasting to its colour. It's like got that chocolatey and caramel a bit touches, but that licorice is definitely there. Very, very full bodied. That sweet candy kind of touches Ooh, to it as it's well. It's quite very sweet, isn't it? Yeah. A bit strange to say that for an ale, but it's like kind of sweet candy. It's this is lovely. They've done a really good job here. What's that sugar that you get? That um, sugar cane? Not sugar cane. No, no. It's like for kids. You know, you have those long straws. And sherbet. Like, sherbet. There's little. Oh, bits of touches sherbet. of that. Yeah. Especially at the back of your throat. That's nice. This is a London port. It's not quite the same as Guinness, but it obviously yeah, it's the same colour. This, I think, if you chose this over a Guinness, you'd be very happy. I mean, there is so much more going on here, yeah. and um, it's much more lighter than the Guinness. Hands down, for me, this is... If they do this by the pint in most bars, I thick. would go for this. It's not as thick as, as Guinness. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's what I actually like more about mm. it, is the fact that it's got all that flavour, but it's not got the so much heav- heaviness that you usually get with porters. Yeah. Um, phew, wow. I'm, I'm... That's definitely... That's... The, phew, that the, phew, ales that I've drunk... Oh, I'm going to say 8.2 on this one. It's not a nine, not a 10 yet, because I've tried some and it's, mm. and I'm, not, I'm just wanting some more flavor there, that's all. Which is probably asking too much of it, but well, that's, that's, I, that's I, where I am. It's doing that. exactly what it should be doing. Yeah, I think so. Um, I think the sweetness is that's what they, they're getting from the American hops mm. that you probably don't get in a, a regular London porter. This is lovely. This is honestly, mm. if you're not a big porter fan even, I'd recommend this. Mm. Your verdict, okay. out of ten? Out of ten, I would say, I'd say eight. Yeah, solid yeah. eight. There you go. Yeah. Oh.